Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 1.8. In this problem, we are going to solve uh, the stress that is in link DE. So let's start with the problem statement. The problem statement is that knowing that link DE is 1, 1 over 8 inch thick and 1, mm, 1 inch wide. Determine the normal stress in central position of link. So this is link DE. You can see this is the link DE. Let me show you. This is the link DE. We have to find the stress in this link D in the central position of link DE when this theta angle is equal to 0 and when the theta angle is 90 degree. So when you uh, when you have look over uh, this figure you can see this is the force that is acting and angle theta so when this theta is equal to 0 we have to calculate the stress in this link and when this theta is at 90 degree we have again to find the stress in this uh, link so let's start with given data given data again uh, the we have given the cross-sectional area cross-section of this link DE in which the thickness is 1 inch and its uh, wide 1 inch wide is equal to sorry thickness is 1 over 8 inch and it is 1 inch wide so let me again uh, correct it so just short thickness is 1 over 8 inch and width is 1 inch okay and we have to find the norm, uh, nor average normal or normal stress in this link de we have to find de for theta is equal to 0 this is the first one and again this stress de for this theta is equal to 90 degree this theta this theta is 90 degree so let's start with our solution again you can see that this is the member this is the member you can see this is the the member or which the forces are in. so we will draw the free body diagram of this member free body diagram diagram of you can see bar are you member member c e f c e f so when you draw the free body diagram of this member it will look like this for example the, let me draw it so you can see that at this point c this is the point c this is point E for example, this is E, this is C and this is point F. Now you can see that at a point F there is a force that is acting 60 pound force LB force and if you draw the vertical line it makes theta degree with this line. So at point C as this is a free world diagram so at point C there will be a force F, uh, this is the horizontal force Cx and this is the vertical force Cy. You can also take F, Cx and F, Cy. There, 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 there can be many representation of these force, but let's simply horizontal force of C, Cx and vertical force is Cy. Similarly, at point E, we can take the only the vertical force that is F as it is in link DE. So we can see this is the force DE. So let's start with its solution. Now you can see from the figure that these are the force. So we have only this known force and theta and we don't have force at F E at point E and C. So better to take the moment at point C. So let's start with taking the moment at point C and taking the counterclockwise as positive. That is sum of all the moment a power point C is 0. So 
again cx and cy are passing through this point so definitely there will be no movement at point c so uh, but this fd is creating movement that is in clockwise direction so that will be minus f d f d e into perpendicular distance between c and e which you can see that perpendicular distance between this point e and c is 12 inch so we have to that mark that distance 12 inch similarly now this is the force that is acting over at at this point and making angle theta so there will be two forces two component of this force horizontal component and vertical component so if i draw the horizontal component and vertical component like this so this is fx and this is f y for example this is f this will be f y and this will be horizontal component this will be the vertical component and this will be the horizontal component so this fx as you know that this fx will be what so if you take this uh, uh, cos theta sin theta so that let me explain this as well so when you take the sin theta sin of this theta that will be perpendicular over hypotenuse so fx over 60 okay so fx will be equal to 60 sin theta here in this diagram and similarly this vertical component that is fy so if you take cos theta so cos theta will be equal to base over hypotenuse so that will be fy over 60 again so fy will be 60 cos of theta so you can see that this horizontal component is acting in this direction so it will create this is the horizontal component it is so this fx is creating a clockwise direction and perpendicular distance between this point and f is shown over here so this is for example if this is fx so perpendicular distance between this point and this point c is 8 inch so this will be minus 8 or minus 8 minus 8 into fx and fx is uh, 60 sine of theta so 60 sine of theta similarly the vertical component this fy so this fy is over here and the perpendicular distance is 12 plus 4 16 so this is the perpendicular distance that is 16 inch so it is also again creating a clockwise direction so we will also take it as negative so that will be minus 16 into f f y and f y is 60 cos theta this will equal to zero now when you calculate all this through using your calculator so you will find f d e will be equal to minus 40 sin theta minus 80 cos of theta the unit will be in pounds lb so this is the equation for f d e we have to find sigma d e which is equal to f d e over area of d e we have find this equation f d e we have to find area of a d e which which is very simple so now we will calculate for, solve our formula for theta is equal to zero so if you put theta is equal to zero in this equation which is let's say equation one for theta is equal to zero in equation one we get 
when you when you put theta is equal to zero in this equation so you will get f t e will be equal to minus a t l b why minus a t l b because theta is equal to zero so sine of zero is zero so this term will be zero and cos of zero is one so this will be minus a t l b now sigma d e at theta is equal to zero is equal to minus a t over area and area of uh, link is cross section thickness is one by eight inch if it is a cross section and width is one inch in the mid section because so this area will be uh, zero point this area will be equal to one multiplied by one over eight inch one inch multiplied that will give you zero point one two five inch so zero point one two five inch so sigma d e will be minus six forty psi so this is the sigma when theta is equal to zero now the part two of this question is when theta is equal to 90 degree find sigma de so again we will use equation one from equation one which is this equation f is minus 40 sine theta and minus 80 cos theta so now you have to put theta is equal to 90 degrees so sine of 90 is 1 and cos of 90 is 0 so fde at theta is equal to 90 is minus 40 lb so from equation 1 when we put theta is equal to 90 degree so fde will be equal to f d e will be equal to minus 40 pounds okay so again sigma d e will be equal to f d e over area d e so that is minus 40 over 0 0.125 which already available and that will give you minus 320 ESI so sigma d e e e is equal to minus 320 psi when theta is equal to 90 degree so this is our solution so the results are that we have find sigma d e for 90 and this for this sigma d e is equal to minus 640 psi yes i and for this problem when theta is equal to zero theta is equal to 90 degrees so sigma d is minus 320 psi so means this uh, link is in compression so we have find both these stresses uh, this was all about problem 1.8 if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you